Hello everyone, welcome to part 67 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the admin panel, e-commerce admin panel and then we are going to work on the e-commerce website as well. And so from this video we are going to start working on the brands module and in this video we are going to create table, create brands table and we'll insert some dummy brands with the help of Cedar. Okay, so we are going to create the brands table. Every product is having some brand. So, uh, so we are required to uh, create the brands module. Okay, so uh, now uh, see for brands table, we are going to uh, create uh, see this brands table and its column we are going to add. Okay, see, don't worry, this one is will small. Okay, so now its column is like brand name, uh, brand image. Uh, okay so brand name brand image and brand logo also we are going to add maybe in future we are required the logo as well and brand discount okay brand discount is must because we have the product discount category discount and the brand discount suppose in case the admin wants to give the discount to the complete brand then we can able to give the brand discount as well okay then description brand description after that url every brand is having many products okay we are going to give the separate url for the brand and after url uh, there is the meta tags like we have done for the categories meta title meta description i'm going to move here okay meta description and meta keywords and uh, after that status column last is the status column okay so these are the columns that we are going to add for the brands table sorry see i'm going to ignore it is uh, see it, grammar is thinking that uh, there is error but the table names are like this only okay so i hope that it's clear to you so this one is the brand table columns columns for brand table okay columns for brand table okay so these are the columns that we are going to create for the brand table okay so every product is having some brand uh, so uh, you can add the admin can add client can add any number of brands and uh, then uh, later stage we are going to add the brands drop down in the add edit product form i'm going to show you uh, like in the catalogs is itself we are going to add the brands after the categories we are going to show the brands after that products and in add edit product form after getting the brand module we are going to show the brands in the same way like we are showing the categories okay but the difference is brand does not have any sub level okay the categories are having sub level but the brands does not have so let's start working on this one we are going to create this table with the help of migration i'm going to create the uh, migration file first of all okay so i'm i will go to my zamp sd docs and this is my project folder project 10 okay i'm going to run the php artisan migration command php artisan make migration i'm going to create the brands table create brands table okay so i'm going to create this table and uh, see it must have been created this file create a brand table uh, okay so i'm creating the migration file for the brand table so that so that i can be able to create the brand table okay so here i'm going to add all these columns like i have mentioned earlier a dollar tables first one is the string uh, string for the brand name okay after that uh, brand image after that brand logo after that uh, brand uh, that brand discount float value for brand discount and after that description test value for description brand description 
and after that uh, string value for string dart type sorry dart type see all these are header types uh, id string float okay and string uh, for the url and uh, we are going to give uh, the string for meta titles uh, as well see meta tags meta title first one after that meta description and last one is meta keywords okay so finally we are going to give status to disable any brand status will come as one or zero so that's why we have taken tiny integer data type so i think uh, let's match once uh, with the uh, column names here brand name brand image brand logo brand discount description url meta title meta description and meta keywords finally status so all are fine so we are going to run the php artisan magnet command to create this table so it has been created i am going to check see brands table has been created with all the required columns having the correct data types okay you can see so now we are going to uh, create the model first of all we are going to create the model then uh, the cedar uh, for inserting some of the brands okay first we are going to create model php artisan make uh, model brand okay and also we are going to create the uh, controller as well controller file separate controller file for brand in the admin right now as we are working in admin php artisan make controller and we are going to create this one under admin brand controller okay so now it has been created i'm going to uh, now uh, see i'm going to create now cedar file okay uh, for brand php artisan make cedar and that is the brand brand stable cedar table cedar okay so now i'm going to open this cedar file brands table cedar and here i'm going to add the brands that i want to add first of all i'm going to include the model as well so app models brand okay so here i'm going to add the brand records And here I'm going to add all all these brands uh, I want to insert the new brands like uh, ID one and then brand name brand name can be anything like uh, arrow and uh, brand image uh, nothing for now I'm going to left it uh, empty for now and brand uh, brand logo as well I'm going to do one thing here I'm going to do it like this then we'll make changes like brand image I'm going to copy from here brand logo is also empty and brand discount is also empty and then description is empty okay URL is we're going to give the URL no issue uh, first I'm going to copy all these meta title then meta description see two more times after that uh, meta keywords and status meta keywords sorry. and status so I am going to give the values like uh, see brand image fine uh, nothing brand discount we are going to put zero because my brand discount will not be empty it will be zero at least because it's the float value uh, so after brand discount uh, description empty fine url url we are going to give arrow my title description and average fine and status will be one okay like this now we can copy this one like i'm going to give the comma here uh, now we can copy and one two three four five okay so five brands we're going to add 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव ओके सो द स्टेटस लाइक दिस सो एनी ब्रांड्स वी कैन एड हेयर लाइक गैप ओके एड लाइक हेयर सी वी कैन सर्च फॉर द ब्रांड्स न्यू ब्रांड्स वी कैन सर्च फॉर द ब्रांड्स क्लोथिंग ब्रांड लाइक माई वेबसाइट इज रिलेटेड विद क्लोथिंग सो वी कैन सर्च फॉर टॉप क्लोथिंग ब्रांड्स ओके लाइक ऑल दीज आर द टॉप क्लोथिंग ब्रांड्स ओके टॉप क्लोथिंग ब्रांड्स वी कैन ऑल्सो सर्च इज सर लाइक दिस ओके सो दीज आर द टॉप क्लोथिंग ब्रांड्स दैट विल कम अप हेयर ओके सो वी कैन एड एनी ऑफ द ब्रांड्स लाइक आई एम गोइंग टू एड हेयर द नाइकी ओके and see all other brands like blackberry puma i can add as well okay so here urls also i'm going to give like uh, for gap i'm going to give here gap okay and for nike i'm going to give the url like nike for puma i'm going to give the url like puma okay and here i'm going to add one uh, top indian clothing brand monte carlo and that i'm going to add here uh, uh url monte carlo and i'm going to give the hyphen like this okay so these are some of the brands i have added so now after this i am going to insert this brand uh see brand insert dollar uh, brand records like this okay so it's fine and after that i am going to open that uh, database seeder file and here i am going to add this one going to disable this one and here i am going to add a uh, brand table uh, see whatever it is i am going to copy from here brand table seeder here i am going to paste it and finally i am going to run the php addition db uh, seed command php addition db seed okay so there it is showing some issue i am going to check call to unfind function database feeder insert okay i'm going to see that what is the issue exactly uh brand insert okay so see here silly mistake now it is fine i have forgot to add the another colon and now i'm going to run the command once again and it is working fine php artisan db seed and it able to i think insert the brands and here you can see that we able to insert the brands here all the brands have come up here arrow gap nike uh, puma and monte carlo okay all the brands have come up and their urls have also come up and all the status is one for now and other fields are empty for now because we are not required at this time okay so uh, we are going to work we are going to show these brands we are going to display these brands in the admin panel in the next video so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye